Why did Carly react so strongly to some objective feedback that I gave her? And why did my direct report fail to heed our collective advice and ultimately make a mistake that can't be done? Well, to combine quotes from F. Scott Fitzgerald and Winston Churchill, we beat on, we're boats against the current, we're destined to let history repeat itself. Let's take a closer look at the work of Peter Golowitz on implementation intentions. A simple if-then plan can increase the likelihood of a new behavior taking hold by 300%. It's about working with our brain's natural rhythms rather than against them. We just need to know what they are. We now know enough about the neuroscience of everyday habits, behaviors, to recognize that our brains are to blame. We can't just undo old habits. The neural pathways are too ingrained, hardened by repetition. But the good news is that we can create new ones and our brains will do the rest. So by focusing on redirecting our behavior, we can move from a cacophony of things going on into a symphony. And the symphony plays beautifully, drowning out the noise of the old. Have you struggled in redirecting an employee's behavior? Have you struggled in redirecting your own behavior? Are you challenged in changing the direction of your workforce behavior? Then this is for you, for leaders at every level of an organization. Let's start with a personal example that probably resonates with many of us. Uh, you have a habit of turning off the alarm to sneak in a few extra minutes of coveted sleep. But you're also sick and tired of always being rushed in the morning. You've tried to stop, but it's reflexive. Your fingers find that snooze button as if it was on a scheduled remote control, their own volition. Instead, if we use Galwitz's model, then set a new plan, a new intention. When the alarm goes off, then you're going to sit up in bed and take three long, slow breaths, sending wakeful oxygen to your brain. As Jennifer Marshall Lippincott from the Neuroscience Leadership Institute said in her February 9, 2018 article, it's like an unwatered plant. It simply fades away. So what do you do? It's what I call the three Bs. Be in the moment, breathe through the moment with three or four deep breaths, then visualize through the moment to the desired action. Neuroscience tells us it takes only three or four times of this repeated action to birth a new neural pathway. So can you imagine that in just three or four days, you can influence a change in this behavior? Now you have choices. 